Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals are quickly becoming a premier threat in the NFL. In his third NFL season, Kyler is finally molding into an elite quarterback that can attack a defense with either his arms or his legs. What is the most interesting aspect of the Cardinals' offense is the air raid offensive scheme that head coach Cliff Kingsbury uses. The air raid offense is a scheme more often used in college football, where the personnel packages consist mostly of three or four wide receiver sets, and 65-75% to 75 of the play calls result in a pass play. The air raid is known for having concept passes, such as mesh routes, four verts, stick routes, and out routes, many of which include at least four receivers in a route, and very often, all five eligible receivers. These plays are designed to get the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, stretch the defense horizontally and vertically, and allow the quarterback to key on one defensive player who will be forced to make a decision on which receiver to cover in his assigned area. The personnel package this is best run out of is either 10 or 11 personnel. The Cardinals lead the league in 10 personnel usage, which they run out of on 25% of their offensive snaps. And just to get a sense of how much of a difference they run 10 personnel compared to the rest of the league, the league average this year is only 2% usage. 10 personnel is a very college-friendly package, since a lot of defensive players may be undeveloped and can lead to coverage mistakes with four receivers in the formation that can be run out as such. In the NFL, all defensive players are developed and have multiple different skills to counter such formations. So how is the air raid offense working so well for the Cardinals? The primary reason can be Kyler Murray. His speed and ability to move in the pocket and around the pocket are allowing him to escape from what would be often coverage sacks and keeping the play alive to pick up more yards than expected as well as the fact that Kingsbury has surrounded Kyler with a plethora of receivers that are either fast or great route runners to feed into the concepts the Cardinals run. Here in week four against the Rams on a third down and 16, the Cardinals run a four verticals call out of an empty base set with the running back out set as a receiver. The Rams are playing a nickel defense with five defensive backs showing a cover four zone, but turns into a cover three with the safety dropping down for underneath coverage. Four Verticals is designed to attack the secondary and force them into making one-on-one -on -one decisions, stretching the defense vertically to create space for the quarterback to make a throw. On this play, the cover three works well for the Rams and they are able to keep close coverage on the receivers. And with Rosedoom's delayed stunt, Kyler is forced to rush out of the pocket. But this is where Kyler excels with his speed. With the four verts called, that leaves ample space for Kyler to scramble. And with his top tier speed, he's able to pick up a first down on a wild third and 16. The air raid concept is designed for routes to stretch the defense and create open space for receivers. Often this can be accomplished from stick routes or crossing routes and designed for a defender to have to choose who to defend, which is why the air raid works best against zone coverage. The Cardinals saw substantially more zone coverage than man coverage last season and as a result had much more success in yards when facing zone. Here in week 6 against the Browns, the Cardinals come out in 11 personnel with trips on the right and DeAndre Hopkins at the bottom. The receivers all run deep threat routes, with AJ Green running a vertical, Christian Kirk running a deep post, and Hopkins running a deep cross. This deep crossing concept with Kirk and Hopkins is forcing the defense to choose who to cover on the right side of the field now. The Browns ran a cover three zone, which leaves cornerback Greg Newsom now in a difficult decision. Does he hold on AJ Green, who is running up the seam, or take Hopkins, who is now coming underneath? For the quarterback, the defender cannot be right. If he chooses to keep with Green, throw to Hopkins underneath. If he takes Hopkins, throw deep to green. The Cardinals know that with the defense's awareness of the deep threat from the air raid offense, they'll often be in cover three or cover four zones to keep the defenders deep and prevent the deep throw, which enables Kingsbury to design concepts and play right into the defense's weakness. When you continually exploit a defense's zone defense, a common result will be them going into man coverage to ensure they stick with their receivers at all times. Air raid schemes when going against man coverage often then play into shell crosses or rub routes designed to hold up or block a defender and create open space for a single receiver. After that deep pass to Hopkins, later in the game, when the Cardinals come out in 0-1 personnel with four receivers in quad formation on the left, the Browns come out in a man coverage cover one concept. Kingsbury designs a great play where the slot receiver Rondale Moore will start by chipping the defensive end and then going out for a delayed outside drag route while the other three receivers run vertical and seam routes, which then deliberately attack the defensive backs. Since Moore is the most inside defender, AJ Green knows that the safety lineup on the inside is assigned to Moore. So in his crossing seam route, he runs his route almost into John Johnson, so that it disrupts Johnson's attempt to get outside to cover Moore. As a result, Moore has ample amount of open space to go and pick up the first down. Another great concept to beat a defense trying to make adjustments during the game to defend the passing threat. When you continually run the air raid offense and stretch the defense with multiple receivers out wide and deliver on the short and deep passes, the defense will often not stack the box with many defenders and bring them out wide. 
the Cardinals take advantage of this since they often see the most light boxes in the league, which can be defined as six or less defenders in the defensive box. They run the ball at a 61% rate when facing a light box, which allows the running back to find easier holes and have a greater chance of breaking off for a large gain. Here against the Browns, the Browns put six men in the box with almost all defenders on the first level and two deep high safety. They leave the left A gap uncovered, and the Cardinals run a design gap into that hole. Chase Edmonds makes a great decision on this run. To begin his run up the middle through the design gap, which makes both Brown safeties crash the middle, but then Edmonds makes a cut outside, and due to the spread out defense by the Browns, he is able to break out for a huge gain. Edmonds and the Cardinals took complete advantage of what the Browns were giving them with the light box, and the Cardinals have been able to take advantage of that numerous times this season when the defense takes over precaution on the pass threat. Another concept for the air raid offense is the no huddle which is when the offense rushes up to the ball and does not substitute a player in hopes to keep the fast pace, which in turn can possibly leave the defense out of position or with more fatigue since they cannot risk subbing a player off the field in the event the offense snaps it with 12 men on the field. This can also lead to mismatches in positions when the defense cannot sub a certain position off the field. The Cardinals run no huddle at a 28% usage rate, which is second in the league, and they continually have success when running no huddle. Here against the Rams, the Cardinals were running no huddle with 10 personnel in a bunch close formation. The Rams defense is still figuring out where they need to be positioned, but overall get in their spot before the snap. The Cardinals run two stick and out concepts, where the outside receiver will come inside and run a stick route, while the inside receivers go for a quick out route. This is another reason the defender cannot be right situation for Kyler. With the zone defense the Rams were in, the linebackers are going to have to choose to either guard the stick route or go to the out route in the flat. Since the linebacker chooses to chase the out route, the stick route is wide open for Hopkins, and he's able to make a move and get a large gain on the play. Kingsbury also often uses the RPO, or run pass option. The run pass option gives the quarterback the option to hand the ball to the running back or pass the football to a receiver. The offensive line blocks as if it's a run play, which stresses the defense to play the run since it essentially looks like a run play. The running back anticipates the handoff, and the quarterback can give it off or rip it out and throw a quick throw. This will often be decided by the quarterback's read of the defense. If the defense is showing a favorable cover to a receiver's route, then the quarterback may decide to pass the ball. It is key that the quarterback makes a quick throw, since the offensive line will believe it is a run play and potentially block upfield, which can result in a ineligible receiver downfield penalty call, which is why you may see that penalty more often in recent years. Here against the Packers, the Cardinals have a bunch formation on both sides which cause the, the defensive backs to play off the line of scrimmage. This is to prevent a crossing rub route that would leave the receiver open. Both sides have a screen route for the receiver, and Kyler notices that, that the defensive backs are playing softer on the right side than the left. It is second and one, so not many yards are needed to convert a first down, which makes it ideal to throw the screen to AJ Green and convert the first down and possibly more yards. Once the ball snapped, the linemen run their zone blocking assignments, but Kyler decides to go to the pass option. The cornerback falls off even more into his zone, which leaves Green wide open for Kyler to zip the ball to him and allow Green to make the first down. The RPO is another device that is becoming more common in the modern offense, and Kingsbury is adding this to his air raid offense to throw another wrench in the defensive scheme. When Kingsbury came to the NFL, his use of the air raid offense was one that many had scoffed at, since the college offensive scheme was not hardly used in today's NFL which heavily relies on the run and the popular West Coast offense. But as he has progressed as a head coach, he has developed Kyler Murray into the elite quarterback he was drafted to become. And with the smart acquisitions, such as DeAndre Hopkins and James Conner, his air raid offense has evolved into one of the most explosive offenses in the league. And the Cardinals are currently at the top of the NFL with an eight and one record. The Cardinals fizzled out last season after their five and two start, some of which was related to Kyler's shoulder injury, but this season the Cardinals are coming firing out of the gates with no signs of slowing down. Can Kyler Murray and Kingsbury's air raid offense lead them to a championship? They are certainly appearing as contenders, and I cannot wait to watch them as this season progresses. Thank you all for watching this video. I have a couple more videos coming through the pipeline, one of which is a breakdown of the Titans defense against the Rams on Sunday Night Football, and a film breakdown of one of the rookie stars this year, Jamar Chase. Keep an eye out for those videos in the following week.